Hi guys, happy October. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mrs. Middleman. I'm a teacher here at the Brigantine Community School and I'm going to read you one of my favorite Halloween books. So the title of this book is called Trick or Treat, Smell My Feet. All right, let's get started. Celia and Ophelia were witch twins who loved to scare all the children in the neighborhood. That's the nature of witches. On sunny days, the twins went for a walk with their fire-powered umbrellas. On stormy nights, they made all the lights go out, except for theirs. Today was Halloween, the witch's favorite day of the year, and they were planning the spell of all spells. The main ingredient for their potion was smelly socks. The twins had been stealing them right out of their neighbor's laundry baskets for the past two weeks. Here, kitty kitty, called Delia. Where are you? Rufus, who had been turned white as snow by a spell gone wrong, was hiding under the bed. Are you ready, Delia? Ophelia said as the cauldron bubbled. He he he, laughed Delia as she threw a few stinky socks into the pot. When the potion takes effect, it will be impossible for the children to say trick or treat, cracked Ophelia. The only thing they'll be able to say is smell my feet. And you know what that means, no one will give them any candy, Delia snickered. Tee hee hee hee, the witch twins laughed and slapped their knees. They pulled two chairs up in front of the window and waited for the fun to begin. Look across the street, Delia pointed a crooked finger. The kids are in their costumes, ready to get some candy. It's time, Ophelia said, grabbing a grubby handful of smelly socks. She threw them into the cauldron and stirred. Now the smoke coming out of the chimney had a slight greenish tint and was spreading across town. There's Susie, Ophelia cackled. She's dressed like a fairy princess. But when Susie opened her mouth, smell my feet is what came out. Ha ha ha, screeched the twins as the door slammed in Susie's face. No candy for Susie. Doors were slammed on superheroes, pirates, kitty cats, and ghosts. Poor kids. So sad. The sisters were having the time of their lives. Delia leaned back on her chair and added another handful of smelly socks to the pot. But she was so busy laughing that she didn't notice a clean baby booty was mixed in with the stinky socks. Suddenly, the nasty green smoke turned bright pink and was filling the house. Oh, bats, screamed Ophelia. What's gone wrong? Delia scooped out the baby booty, but it was too late. More and more pretty pink smoke filled the house. Quick, dump the rest of those smelly socks into the pot, Ophelia yelled, but her voice was getting softer and softer. What's happening to my voice, she cooed. Delia tried to talk, but what came out was, hoo hoo gaga. When the pink smoke finally cleared, the twins had been turned into chubby little toddlers, and they were very cute. Meow, cried Rufus, who was now a little kitten. Outside, the foul green smoke had faded and no more doors were slammed. In fact, the children were extra polite, so they got extra candy. The biggest crowd was next door to the witch's house. An old woman, an old woman was giving out fresh baked chocolate chip cookies to the trick-or-treaters.
The next morning, the old woman heard strange noises next door and went over to see what's going on. Oh, how cute the two of you are, she said to the tiny witch twins, even though they were scowling. The woman brought them home with her and put them in snuggly pink pajamas. But as soon as their black dresses were off, those girls started bawling and nothing could get them to stop. So the sweet old woman sewed a little black blanket for each of them, each of the gloomy girls. And when they weren't looking, she tied a pink bow around their pointy hats. Rufus loved his new home. Now the neighborhood kids come over every day after school. They eat cookies and milk and try to get little Delia and Ophelia to smile. Who knows, maybe they'll grow up a little nicer this time. The end. I had so much fun reading to you guys. Thanks so much for listening. Happy Halloween.